Welcome to the August edition of Games I Want to Play, a monthly series where I review the releases coming for the month and tell you which ones I think are good or interesting to pick up. August comes to us as a bit of a calm before a certain storm that we are all waiting for the coming September. Still, that doesn't mean there aren't any worthy titles coming this month, so let's get on and check it out. The first thing we're seeing is this glorious caricature of USA's military might by, at the time, not so popular studio back in Japan. It's actually a pretty old title but was previously exclusive to Xbox at the time, which may be the reason why many of you aren't aware of this super campy gem. Basically, you're the president of the United States. Everyone literally calls you that in case you missed it. But instead of commanding all of the armed forces, you are pretty much all of the armed forces in a robot suit. So if you like the idea of walking around in an overpowered Iron Man suit and acting as the one-man army that you're meant to be, you might want to pick up this title for its novelty or just the silliness of the entire setting. The trailers and marketing for this game weren't pulling punches when it came to talking about its competition and simply dunking on them. Of course, you'd have to know a bit more about the recent stories on other not-so-commendable crowdfunded projects, but that's not the point here, don't want to bury the lead. Rebel Galaxy Outlaw sounds like a double negative, sure, but what it's been able to show in its trailers definitely gives me a more positive outlook. Taking on the role of a lone ace pilot who freelances around the galaxy with her spaceship and her skillful ability to use it. This is a pretty welcome title for me considering there hasn't been any good flight games since Ace Combat 7. It looks like it can also customize your craft as you see fit and there appears to be a lot of focus in getting the flight simulation right. Icing on the cake would be this lawless galaxy where it feels like Star Wars Aliens meets Cowboy Bebop which definitely sounds like a winning combination to me. Square Enix comes at us with this unassuming little indie, it actually released a demo not too long ago and made for a pretty pleasant experience. Okinaki places you in the role of some sort of warrior shaman that deals with the dead. So some serious Shaman King vibes going right there. So far, it appears to be an isometric adventure that allows you to traverse between two versions of the same world, the living and the ethereal. The actual world and society that you're also introduced to has a pretty strange attitude towards how you treat the dead. The introduction, ending with a pretty edgy way of dealing with people who can't let go of their dearly departed, was actually a bit of a hook for me. You also work with souls who have completely forgotten who they are but end up being pretty useful as partners or weapons. The gameplay itself is quite reminiscent of Supergiant's Bastion which was quite a hit in its time. Now, the more I play this demo, the more questions pop up, and I assume that most of these questions about the story and how the game will conclude will be answered in the full version of the game. Did you enjoy Until Dawn? Were you creeped out by the story, the setting, the demons, the killers, or the occasionally awkward uncanny valley looking models? Well, however you cut it, that title made a name for itself and the makers behind that have set out to make a new one called Man of Medan. For this title, a cast of typical characters go on a journey to hunt for lost treasure at sea. What they didn't know was that that treasure itself may lead them to being hunted or haunted in return. After being left stranded because of their boat dying on them, they have gone ahead and boarded a very obvious ghost ship in hopes of finding a way to safety. Considering how terrible our 2B victims are at decision making, you take over the role and make choices for the characters, hopefully in the interest of getting them to survive, if you believe they deserve to. Man of Medan is another part of the Dark Pictures anthology and, at the very least, would make a pretty fun couch session. Anime pretty much has its things down pat when it comes to over-the-top flashy action. Astral Chain feels like a combination of several tropes between Tokusatsu, Digimon, and Jojo. What I can tell is that you're in some sort of post-apocalyptic world much like what God Eater or Freedom Mars would put you in. And for some reason, the police have their best ever attack Pokemon which could be police dogs or a Jojo stand for lack of a better term. There appears to be a variety of missions you can do in this game so the creative implementation of this weird otherworldly power is where you're going to be banking most of your interaction. I personally think there's a lack of good action titles on Switch, seeing this coming up definitely may solve that problem. 
The month of August is probably not one of the more hype months when it comes to game releases and honestly you might want to hold off for the September releases because that's gonna be one heck of a storm. But you never know what you're gonna like right? And these games do seem like they're worth your time at the very least so why not check them out, why not try their demos and maybe if you really like them enough they'll keep you occupied at least until the bigger releases come along. Not that they're bad games to begin with, some of these are games that you might want to come back to or just play in bits and pieces until you complete them like how I do. Anyway, if you'd like to check out our other stuff, you can see more videos off our YouTube channel and all of our articles on our site, removefiles.com. You can also catch us on the usual social media as shown here, where we post some light event coverage and tend to joke around. You can also come talk to us if you'd like. We would love to hear your feedback regarding all the work we do. So that's it for now. Until next time, stay classy.